Hey guys, um, this is going to be the first video on this channel, and just to start off, I think I'll start with a tutorial of how to make a YouTube background. This will be really basic and really simple, but it'll be pretty cool, I think. So first, just go ahead and open up Photoshop, and I'll include the templates that I have at the moment. I'll just probably give you the folder I have of them. And these are from all kinds of different places, and some I modified myself. Let's <sighs> just uh, file, open and you guys you can download this but um in my folder I have YouTube background templates and I have all kinds of them and um I think I'll start with metal template this one looks nice and smooth I'm gonna go ahead and control alt C make it 1600 by 1600 there we go proceed and it's gonna make it much easier smaller and this is pretty much what you can see on the screen anyway so you don't gotta have it that big and by the way for you guys that are making these like I'm not gonna be teaching you how to make this but as a tip for themes and colors when it says this show advanced options maximum two two hundred fifty six k no it can go up to a megabyte like I have things right under a megabyte that'll work uh, let me just find one real quick uh, yep, YouTube backgrounds. I believe this one actually was right under there. And this is my huge. Go down to here as that's loading. See it loaded up, but I should be able to show you the size now. Nope, that's half, but you see, you get the point. It's still way over, almost double that 256K. And um, so you can have up to a megabyte though, just trust me on that. Okay, to start out, once you open the template, um, what I would do is first move your, probably fix this for you guys, but move that up to there. Yeah, let me fix that for you guys. Save. Okay. Now, you want to make the um, something just a simple one. I would do a brush and make it a bit one of the basic assorted brushes make it pretty big like maybe right under 2000 maybe right around 2000 seems good and it's touching maybe a little less no yeah I'll try that and make it a nice color um be a nice color for this um yeah red's always good so Start with a red and make sure you make a new layer right on top of the backdrop. And then try to center it up and click. Already looking pretty nice. Um, yep. And this is one of my favorite templates because all these, pretty much, I'm just going to go ahead and. Oops. Wrong one. Wrong button. I'm just going to group these. Oops. I'll group these for you guys too. And make this keep top. And if we put this right above that. Oops, sorry guys. You know what? Actually, screw that. Just go to your backdrop and go ahead and B and add that. And you guys can actually make that bigger if you want. But um that'll be nice and keep keep on top for that uh... what else do we want to do add a new layer maybe and you guys just really gotta have some creativity to do this it doesn't take a bunch it's not a big challenge to do this uh... let's go in here it's just gonna be basic too so you know what um, something that always looks good is um, abstract art Okay then, it can just use Bing, I guess. I thought I had it set for Google, because Google's so much better. How about that? Let's see, full size image. Sorry, I'm not used to using Bing at all. I don't like Bing. Oh, brand new computer, but man, is it lagging on this! Holy cow! Save image as. 
your desktop yeah there we go that should look pretty nice and uh, file open desktop just get a like a, what I like doing is an abstract image and should the images be okay there it is and um, pull this down actually you know what put the back up there teach you guys how to do this real quick put on your eraser make sure you have a new layer and okay actually you don't need the new layer just uh, make it as big as you want actually I'm gonna redo that and make the brush much smaller a little bigger than that a little bigger no let's just go up to about that size so and I'm just gonna erase most of what I see Can erase most except for the actual shape you're looking for. And then you can erase all this. Now I'll drag this. Drag this on here. Close this. Nope. And put this below that. Delete that. Actually you know what this is a really bad idea to put these in a folder but anyways you guys are just gonna have to adjust you'll see what I'm saying so you know what the backdrop should be out of the folder like that and this should be down here this should be right there Okay, so now this is saved the right way. But you see how I did that? Now let's reposition that. Oops, wrong one. This one. This tutorial is sort of made for the beginner, guys, so please don't get mad at me or anything. Uh, let's try to zoom that out, maybe like that. Control J. C edit. And I just duplicated that control J to do that otherwise is control J or right click duplicate layer okay and it's just gonna pop up on top of it and you see I duplicated it oh and control Z is your friend on this but um then to uh, flip it to the other side you go edit transform flip horizontal I believe that should be it yep this should be it sorry guys this is really slow then we're just gonna shift and arrow to make it jump a little faster and just get it positioned pretty close that's pretty close and that already looks pretty nice actually and um... maybe a um... abstract design haven't tried it this one in a while so How about that? Actually, looks pretty cool, so I'm gonna use it. Save image as desktop, save abstract design. Okay, guys, this is gonna go in the little corner. This is optional, guys. All this is you just gotta have some creativity, really. It's not that hard, but um, go do the same thing. Oops, make sure you have that unlocked double click and unlock that's it go back to eraser erase pretty much all of this this is gonna look pretty nice though I would say just erase you guys got it most of I think except for the basic shape drag this drag this onto here close no we wanna take this bring it to the top real quick just even out all that stuff. You can erase. This is gonna probably gonna happen to you guys, so control T to be able to function with that. We're gonna offset it up here and control T or uh, shift. That's how I'm doing that is shift and drag. Is that one hundred percent? So much smaller. Okay, 
Guys, this might not look great, so you guys just gotta decide to do whatever. Okay. The, um, let's just... Yeah, that'll probably look great. It'll look alright. Not great. Let's make it a little bigger. Like that. You guys know what I'm talking about. Like, um, if you go to... I like doing stuff like... You know what? Optic Hex. Like, if he still has the same one on here, it should be on there. Nope, it has changed, of course. Let's see, players... Maybe his still has it on there. Yeah, these little things, these nice little corner things, those look great. So if you guys can just find a abstract design like that, and pretty much a circular one that works best, because you can be put it behind all your stuff actually on there. See how it looks? Looks pretty awesome though. And you might want to Control T again. Use this. You could actually warp like that. Warp it that way. Check. Okay. Put it back. Um. Control J. J J J J J. I'm just making this. Whoops. Too much. You know what? Um. I'm actually gonna. go guys darken nah keep it at normal nope definitely overlay soft light difference no what did I have it as nah we want it on a nice nice easy one no, what did I have it on? I can't remember. It's gonna have to be one of these. There it was. Linear burn. Okay. T. Do that again. Put this up at the top. Um, let's see. J, J. Right click merge. That's a nice dark, but you still see what I'm getting at. Um, I think what I'm going to do is if you take this. Nope. Put on top. Nah, it'll look all right out there. Okay, and control J, control T, shift. This is kind of sloppy right now, guys, but um, control J, control T, do it again. Something like that. Control J, Control T. You know, guys, it might look.